Hi friends, this is Andy from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the procedure to basically rip apart your Lenovo Z400, Z410, Z500, and Z510 IdeaPad series of laptops. Watching this video, you can replace your keyboard, you can upgrade your hard drive, RAM, the battery inside the laptop, the Wi Fi chip, you can clean up the CPU fan, and basically, even head towards going ahead and removing the motherboard also. So basically if your laptop uh, is something like this, the brown color and the base is something like this and once opened if it looks like this 14 inches or 15 inches this process applies for you. You need to have a set of screwdrivers as I have and uh, you need to something that can protrude the base panel. So basically uh, you need to flip the laptop like this and the first thing that we are going to do on this laptop is to replace the keyboard. For replacing the keyboard there are these two screws that you have to remove. Long screws here and then uh, take the laptop like this. Start protruding from the keyboard wherever you had uh, removed the screw from. Just protrude it a little, you will see the keyboard coming out. Very gently start removing the keyboard like this. Alright, like this. I will see this connector over here. This particular connector uh, is holding onto the keyboard. We need to remove it so that the connector strip is out. The next thing that we need to do is uh, if you want to replace the DVD writer, you need to remove this one screw over here. Keep the screw aside and uh, just need to remove the DVD writer by just pulling it out like this very easily. So the DVD writer is out here it is basically a SATA DVD writer a slim laptop SATA DVD writer will do if you want to replace it you have to remove these two screws and put it onto the new DVD writer. So DVD writer is out now. Now you need to remove these screws one two three four we are going towards the RAM, the hard drive and other uh, parts of the laptop here. So you need to remove these screws also. The four screws are out now. As you can see all the screws are out. You need to now close it. Flip the laptop. The other screws that have to be now removed, the two screws over here are hidden behind these rudders. So you just need to remove these rudders. One over here, one over here. These two rudders don't have any screws uh, below them, so not required to be removed. Now you have to remove all the visible screws. One, two, three, four, five, and there are these one, two, three screws on the DVD writer panel over here, which you need to remove. All the three are different kind of screws. Uh, these over here are very very small screws as you can see. Uh, over here it is shown very very small screw. And uh, one, two, three, these screws are again different in size. Longer but very thin. And uh, over here these two screws are much thicker as you can see. So you have to keep them in sets of two, two over here. 1, 2, 3 on this one side and 1, 2, 3 on this one side. So I have kept it that way. So I suggest you to do it the same. Now I just need to remove the base panel over here. Just need to retune a little bit.
it can be away very very easily All right so the entire panel is out now and uh, the hard drive memory wi-fi chip the battery everything is visible so the first thing that we need to do is uh, remove the battery here let us uh, replace the battery you need to remove this connector then you have to remove these two screws one two the battery comes off so you have to replace with a new battery so we have the new battery in hand as you can see and you can connect it but we will not connect it right now we have to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive also I am going to show you that procedure also this is where the RAM uh, bay area is there are two slots so we just need to use the two fingers the RAM slot comes out uh, you need to buy a DDR3 1600 megahertz memory it's not a low voltage memory that you have to buy it's a full uh, 1600 megahertz normal DDR3 RAM that you have to buy when you want to upgrade the then we'll set 400 or 500 or 510 and just press it back and the notch notches will hold on to it coming to the wi-fi chip uh, you just need to remove this one screw over here and remove the antenna connectors just remove it take another wi-fi chip replace it and put the screw back Coming to the hard drive, uh, you need to remove these four screws, one, two, three and four. And the hard disk will give away. It's basically a SATA 2.5 inches laptop hard drive, uh, slim or normal would be fine because the size is sufficient enough. You can upgrade up to one terabyte for this particular laptop take a similar hard drive remove these two screws here and two screws here the panel will come out put this panel back onto the new hard drive and put it back You can also clean up your fan here, uh, use a brush and you can uh, just clean up this particular area over here. Let us now put in the battery connector. Alright. So we are done with this. Uh, you can reverse the process and you can refit the laptop as you have uh, opened it. Hope you like our video, uh, do let us know if your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. You can buy the battery, memory, the hard drive and all the other accessories, the keyboard on our website techstore.co.in. Thank you so much guys.